Well, hey, everybody. Happy Thursday. Pastor Matt here with your daily RPM, and I do hope you're having a wonderful day. This week, we're talking about daylight savings time, that governments all over the world have mandated that we change our clocks twice a year to try to maximize the amount of sunshine we get in a day. And some people think that's foolish, some think it's wise, but you know what? In the Word of God, there's an account in, in, in Joshua chapter 10 where the sun actually does stand still. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Joshua and his Israelite people were being attacked by five kings, five kingdoms that made up the Amorites in the land of Canaan. And as they're coming against them, Joshua cries out to God for help. And God says, yes, I will help you. Go out and fight. And oh my goodness, there's so much truth there. When the enemy comes at us, ladies and gentlemen, we can call on God and he is willing to help. And you know what? That as Joshua and his army begin winning that battle, those enemy soldiers had begun to retreat and escape. And Joshua prayed, oh God, Give us the victory. Don't allow us to let these guys get away. And, oh my, and the Bible says that the sun and the moon stood still to extend the daylight hours so that those enemies could not escape. There's so much truth in that. Here's what I want you to know. Number one, when you are gaining the victory over an enemy in your life, Maybe you've conquered a habit. Maybe you've, you've begun going to church and you're starting to get a habit. Maybe you've begun reading your Bible. But when you're starting to obtain victory, don't let up. So many people have been able to have victory for a short-term basis. But then as soon as they start getting ahead, they pull back. I want you to know that the Spirit of God is a spirit that says we are going to have victory in the fullness and we're not letting go. And I love the fact that God even made the sun and the moon stand still to answer the prayers of Joshua. God is a need meeting God. He will move heaven and earth to answer your prayer. He says six times in John chapter 14, 15, and 16, Jesus said, ask anything in my name and it shall be done for you. I think that's so important that we remember that we're calling on a God who is able to make the sun and the moon stand still. He can help us in our daily lives. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, like and share, and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.